Ah, uh, here we have the cloudy section of the water world, which still continues to not really mesh. But that's not what we're concerned about. What we're concerned about is defeating Kabula once again. This is going to be a tough fight, so I'm going to take liberties and save state a few times as I continue to damage him, pausing for extra security purposes. As I said, Kabula is brutal, quite brutal, in the Revenge of the King remake. Ah, it, has appear it appears we have bested him. Stay tuned for Krako. Krako, the boss that gave me trouble the first time. Bound to give me trouble again. This dark and ominous gray is perfectly suited for him. These don't appear to damage us, but that guy does. Oh well. Oh. Well, I seem to have stumbled into an explosion caused by myself. Well, we all learn from our mistakes, right? If Kirby tumbles down this abyss in his regular fashion, he will have no trouble taking out these enemies. And destroying his clone apparently destroys all enemies on screen. That's good to know. Ah, apparently we must deal with Krakow Jr. first. Or not. I forgot that Krakow has a transition phase. Come, Krakow. Patrol the screen and spit out your weakness. Whoa. Careful where you aim those beams, Krakow. Oh. You really are hard to dodge sometimes. I don't hold it against you, though. You're programmed that way. Wow! Come on, where is the Waddle Doo? I sort of need those to fight you at all. Ah. Well, we've hit him once. That's a good start. I've never seen him do his beam attack twice in a row. As with the previous fight, we are taking liberties to avoid taking time. I don't mean taking liberties like we're taking away your freedom. I simply mean that I'm exercising my own freedom in this LP. Don't worry about it. Just relax and enjoy the Kirby gameplay. Krakow won't be relaxing, because now he's exploded. I suppose at this point we must fly into the mug of King DDD in order to take him on one final time. I think. Red and blue, the colors of King DDD himself. His castle, red like his robes, and Kirby is blue like him. A way of imitating his opponent, perhaps? We shall never know for sure. But here is the classic King DDD boss fight, recreated in almost every appearance of him. I'm sure later he has learned more moves, but he, uh, he of course does his classic faceplant and hammer smashes. Even in Brawl he can do both of those, of course, because hammer is basically his main weapon. Ah, and the Yoop-Ha jump, as we like to call it. I happen to notice that I only have one health point. Can we beat DDD with this limitation? It's possible. If it doesn't happen, there's no problem with that. Oh. See? No problem with that at all. Now we are only better equipped to take him on. Come, DDD. Your tyranny of Dreamland is over for this iteration of the series. Even though I can't pronounce that word properly, you will still fall before my spit technique. Whoa! King DDD also knows the spit technique. And also for the only purposes of Kirby. In later games, he does keep this ability, but he cannot copy with it. I don't know why I'm explaining all these Kirby factoids to you when you probably already know them. But that's not a problem either. Come on, DDD. Attack where I can hit you. Ah, 
There we go. One hit down. King Gididi, you sure are silly. Flopping about on the battlefield. It is worth noting that we are in fact fighting him in a personal boxing ring of some sort. In Kirby Superstar, he has a crowd cheering for either him or Kirby. It's not really easy to tell which. But there is certainly a crowd. And what a crowd it is. Mario, Luigi, Birdo. Several Nintendo characters appear in it. In this, it appears to be some sort of isolated training rink. For King DDD's personal amusement. Whatever the case, we will beat this tyrant and prevent him from stealing Dreamland's food, if that is indeed what he has done in this game. It is entirely possible that he had good intentions in this one, because in most of the other ones he does, and Kirby's bumbling blind heroism is only what is the only thing that gets them into conflict. In the NES adventure, which which itself was remade, King DDD has good intentions, and he split the Star Rod to prevent Nightmare from being released. But in Spring Breeze, and if Spring Breeze as a remake is true to this, he was pure evil. Or at least pure greedy. In any case, we must defeat him for the good of the world. Two hits left on both of us. This is sure to result in a struggle that is epic. A struggle for the ages. Kingdom or Empire. King versus Puffball. Evil versus Good. Greed versus the opposite of greed. You know, that sort of thing. Ha <laughs> ha! Eat double star power, King DDD. King DDD hurt so hard that he bust through his castle roof while screeching in a way not unlike Kirby's horrible singing. Ah yes, this is the Spring Breeze ending, where Kirby lifts the castle into the sky, dropping the stolen fruits and foods of Dreamland all over, restoring order to the populace. Sakurai! Yes, the infamous Kirby creator. Sunday Rain? Mami Preko? I'm not sure what to make of these credits. The Mega Man credits often had weird names for their staff as well. But oh well. I can't help but notice... <laughs> Bobby? Who is this Bobby? Cypher? Who is this Cypher? But in any case, Sakurai's first name, which is of course Masahiro, was shortened to half of its length. And so many players. Thank you so many players. Kirby's Dreamland was presented by HAL Laboratory Incorporated and Nintendo. Thank you for playing. And thank you the viewer for watching this, well, this backup let's play, where I was oddly relaxed, or zen-like, or peaceful. Bye bye. This has been Shag, and this has been Kirby's Dreamland 1, the original for the Game Boy. Oh, what's this? Ha, <laughs> oh DDD, you silly penguin. We can start a new adventure, the extra game where Kirby has about three hit points. It's not something I really want to do. Oh, King DDD, calm down. Now's no time for tantrums. You can just go to the grocery store and buy food. You don't have to steal it from people. Ah, well. He'll never learn, or will he? Well, I guess he does, actually. Ah, this conflict has been resolved. Once again, this has been Shag with Kirby's Dreamland. Good luck!